veins, arteries, and capillaries that make up a child's circulatory system would actually stretch for more than 60,000 miles if you laid them all out. To help visualize how far that is, just consider traveling around the equator of the Earth and back. And as we reach adulthood, our bodies become home to a vast network of blood vessels. It grows to 100,000 miles. That's enough to go around the planet five times. Consider for a moment how amazing it is that every part of your body is supplied with blood, oxygen, and nutrients by an intricate network of little tiny tubes. If you could somehow reduce your size and travel through your body's vast system of blood vessels, you'll see an incredible array of hues and textures. Veins and arteries have a distinct feel and texture because they're lined with smooth muscle and elastic fibers. To visualize this, picture running your fingers along the inner surface of a long winding tube and feeling its subtle ridges and bumps. The blood vessel's color would shift as you moved further along. The veins that return blood to the heart tend to be dark blue or purple. However, due to oxygenated blood, they transport away from the heart. Arteries tend to appear bright red. Capillaries, the smallest blood vessels, are typically undetectable to the naked eye. However, if you were to examine them closely, you might see that they have a soft pink hue. You would, of course, be surrounded by constant rushing of the flow of blood as you make your way through the circulatory system. The sound of a river's rapids, multiplied by a factor of a hundred, would reverberate off the walls of the blood vessels. You could get used to the constant hum, but you wouldn't forget it. Overall, the human circulatory system is an amazing and mysterious phenomenon. The network of blood vessels that runs through our bodies is incredibly complex and beautiful. These are Interesting Things with J.C.